What's going on you guys? It's me, Breezy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to go through all of the running shoes that I've worn. Um, I've been running for a little over a year now, so I figured I could show you guys what I've used, talk about what I liked, didn't like, if I would recommend. And um, I feel like it's really important to note before I get into this video that if you are planning on getting into running, it's really important to go to a local running store and get properly fitted. For me, um, I live in Virginia, so I go to Potomac River Running. They have various locations across the state. And basically, they'll measure your feet and your arches. You'll walk across a little pad thing, so that way they can see where pressure points are when you're walking and running. And then they also had me run on a treadmill to look at my gait and just make sure my running form is okay. And that way we could talk about where potential areas would wear more on my shoes based on all of those things that they measure. And I feel like it's really important to do, don't just buy what other people are wearing, even if you think it'll make you better, because it's really important to get shoes that are proper for you and your feet, because that'll help lead to less injury. So without further ado, let's get into the video. My first ever pair of running shoes are the Hoka Bondi 7s. Here they are. I promise they're not as clunky as they look because like this is pretty thick. <laughs> Anyways, I originally bought these because I wanted to start working out more at the gym. My like life goal of 2021 was to lose weight. So I was like, I need new shoes. It'll motivate me to go to the gym. And essentially it did. They've definitely served their purpose. Um, I mainly, when I went to the gym, I would run like maybe a mile, two miles max. So that's all I've really like put them to the test for. Um, I'm currently using them as work shoes. They're really comfortable. And the reason that I stopped wearing them for running rather than continuing to use them was because they're a size eight and a half. And when I went and got fitted, like I previously mentioned, they told me that I was a nine. So these really are too small because your feet swell when you run. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're very comfortable, but sometimes it would bother my toes. So that's the main reason I stopped wearing these. I definitely would buy another pair, um, probably more for like everyday use rather than running maybe. But overall, these are a pretty good first pair of running shoes. These are my second pair of running shoes. Uh, these are the first pair I've ever been fitted for. So I went to Potomac River Running, like I mentioned, and they fitted me and recommended me these. Overall, these were really good shoes. I liked the responsiveness as well as the like soft cushiony feel because as a new runner, I don't I wasn't really sure if I wanted to really feel the ground with every run. I wanted to be comfortable and especially running on pavement. These were very good on my joints. I did wear the tread pretty thin in the midfoot. Um, so that would probably be my only complaint was like durability. They also have like the heel had holes. So that's how I knew it was time to retire them and get a new pair. Like I said, I've done over 300 miles in these and I love them. I totally would repurchase again, but being a new runner, I kind of want to try it all before I pick my favorite running shoe. So that's why I stopped wearing these as well. So these are the Vaporfly Next Percent 2s. Um, these probably have been my favorite shoes that I've ever worn. I bought them specifically for racing, so I do not wear them during my regular training runs three or four days a week. These are specifically for races. Um, I really like the carbon plate because I've never worn a carbon plate shoe. And I saw everybody else wearing these and I was like, maybe I should try them, you know, see if they're good. I got a pretty good deal on them. They're pretty dirty. I recently wore them in a rock quarry race and it rains. So that's why they're pretty disgusting. My mom tried her best. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, these definitely make me feel faster, which I love, especially for needing speed and wanting to be faster. Um, when I've worn them for my longer distance races, um, I wore these in a 10 mile race back in March. And I feel like they don't get as comfortable when you wear them for longer distances. Maybe that's just because I'm a slower runner and I'm not fast like these crazy marathon record holders that wear these. But yeah, I feel like the longer distance, I really feel it in my heels and it's like pain running because I wouldn't say they feel hard, but they're not as like soft and responsive like the Asics that I just showed you guys. So that's my only complaint. I think that these are better for me for more shorter distance races. But like I said, everybody likes shoes differently, so. 
but I do love these. These are definitely my favorite pair of shoes that I own. These are the New Balance 860s. So I went to go get these once I ran out of juice in my Asics because I ran well over 300 miles in them. So I went back to my favorite running store and of course they bring out three different pairs for me to try on and I'm running on the treadmill with each one and these ones were my favorite. They aren't too soft but they aren't too hard and I felt like they're just a good happy medium for me. Overall they're really comfortable. And yeah, I've probably done about 50, 60 miles. So there's the, the bottoms. And honestly, these are pretty good. I wouldn't say that I love them as much as my Asics because the Asics are so cushioned. These are not as cushioned, but I feel as I'm growing in my running journey, I would like to feel the pavement a little bit more. So I do like them, but I would say I like the Asics better. Overall, these are really good shoes and yeah. I have to throw these in here. <laughs> these are the Hoka Clifton 9s. I don't normally run in these. I bought these for like every day walking around campus because I go to grad school at James Madison University. And these were more just every day for me. But I recently went on a trip to Nashville for school. Uh, we went on an experiential learning trip to volunteer with the Rock and Roll Running Series. And my cousin from Arizona who I've only met briefly once when I was like 13 was there and there ended up being like a mix up and he had an extra bib. So I ran a half marathon without training. Do not recommend, but I wore these. So I, I felt that they had to be included in this video. Personally for me, did not like them. Um, I had blisters on both feet. I am still recovering and that was, I guess almost a month ago now. Um, and I feel like for me, the longer I wore them, the more uncomfortable they got. And I know that this is like going to shock all of you Hoka fans out there because everybody says these are the best shoes. They're the most comfortable. I, I really disagree. Um, I personally would never run in these again. <laughs> like they're, I would, they're okay for like walking around and stuff. But to me, running 13.1 miles in these and then volunteering my shift after and walking around downtown Nashville. I did, these just were starting to rub my feet the wrong way. That could have also been partly due to my socks, but overall these just felt like they got harder the longer I wore them. So beware, my feet are weird. Uh, I was born with club foot, so my foot naturally turns in and I have foot issues on my right leg as well. So that could also be part of it. I mean, like I said, everybody is different. So this is just my opinion, but contrary to popular belief, I do not like the Hoka Clifton 9s for running. <laughs> okay, we are down to our last pair of shoes. These are the Saucony Speed 3s. I have not worn them yet, so I cannot give you guys an honest review. Um, I mainly bought these for my half marathon and full marathon races. Uh, half marathon will be in October, first full marathon next March, so I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I still need to try these out, but overall I love the color and they're super light, but I, I also wanted something a little more stable because with the vapor flies, I feel like the mesh upper, my foot is more likely to roll. I feel like these are a little bit more stable. So that was the reason that I purchased them. And I'll be sure to update you guys my opinion after trying them out. But yeah, these overall look really nice and I'm super excited to try them. They're super light. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So those are all of the shoes that I've tried throughout my running journey over this past year. And I'm super excited to see where it continues to take me. If you guys have any video suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment box below and don't forget to like and subscribe.